So after some days, my video is coming up. There's something wrong with my PC that I've really worked on and I think it's working now. So with that being said, well, we are coming up with the news. Of course, Arsenal lost. Yes, Arsenal did lose. We're going to talk about that. Plus, there's some insane amount of transfer news that's actually coming out. So are we going to talk about it? Of course, we're going to talk about it. So the first thing that we can, of course, talk about Vlahovic, of course, Darwin Nunez, Renato Sanchez, and of course, more things to come up because Arsenal are really eyeing Dominic calvert And the moment that Aubameyang flopped and everyone picked up the point that Arsenal need a striker, literally every English publication is just around the corner recycling the news about Dominic calvert into Arsenal. So we'll talk about that because everyone is talking about it. Why do? Why would we? not talk about it. So, according to Gazeta dello Sport, Arsenal are considering meeting Fiorentina's valuation of Vlahovic in January. So, Lacazette and Ketia leaving and Aubameyang turning 23, Arsenal would want to come to Vlahovic and they really are desperate to sign a striker and they know there's something wrong with only one department and it's not firing on all cylinders. And Arsenal are not scoring enough amount of goals. And I, Arsenal are not even scoring the amount of goals that they scored in last season. So, moving on. So, PM Rico Bamiyang on Instagram uh, shared this image with the caption, Disappointing night and I'm always checking myself first. Gotta keep the work rate high and refocus on Monday. We never give up. So, Monday, Arsenal meet Everton. We'll talk about that. So, moving on. Thierry Henry says, One thing I could not understand is Aubameyang is your captain. He is your goal scorer. 15 minutes to go and you're losing 3-2. And you take him off. You take your captain, your symbol off the field, and you know he can score you goals. So something is not right. Uh, Andre said more things. We're going to talk about that as well. So William Saliba, ladies and gentlemen, and he's got a fresh trim with a fresh hair color going beach blonde. So he looks good. That's all I can say. So Edu Gaspar shared this image on Instagram. So thinking on things that we can definitely talk about. So, it looks like Mikel Arteta is formulating plans for life without Alex Lacazette, uh, whose contract expires at the end of the season. And Arsenal are targeting Dominic Calvert-Lewin and would like to him to spearhead the next phase of Arsenal's development. The question is, how much are Arsenal ready to pay for and how much will Everton ask? Well, that's actually a very, very cute question if you ask me. So. According to first, standards say Arsenal are tracking Everton striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin as they look to bolster their attack next summer. Let's talk about Mike McGrath. Mike McGrath says Arsenal want to renew their attack and if they can get rid of those present, the club admires Everton striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Now, Simon Collins says Arsenal are interested in signing Everton striker Calvert-Lewin and are also pursuing Lille striker Jonathan Davies as Don Jonathan David as an alternative option. Trusted Paul Joyce says from the Times, he said he confirms Arsenal's interest in Calvert-Lewin to replace Lacazette. Also, Telegraph Sports say that Arsenal are interested in signing Calvert-Lewin in the summer. The same thing is reported by Mirror Football and of course, the one, the only male sport. So, everyone says, now the question is, how much is the price tag? We're going to come, come to that as well. So don't at all forget. Uh, so we won't be forgetting that. So moving on, let's talk about uh, Chris Wheatley. He says Everton will be without Dominic Calvert Lewin and Tom Davis for the clash against Arsenal on Monday. It's confirmed. Rafa Benitez has said no Dominic Calvert Lewin in Arsenal's versus Everton's game. Everton is suffering. There, you know. It's, it's literally terrible. They're losing player after game after game and the players are not coming back to full fitness. Everton are in for a shock. So what about Dominic Calvert-Lewin? So Arsenal will have to pay 60, 60 million pounds, over 60 million pounds to make Everton think of letting Dominic Calvert-Lewin go. So Dominic Calvert-Lewin to Arsenal might be happening. So let's see. Interesting. Would you want Dominic Calvert-Lewin to Arsenal? I've asked this question multiple times, but fresh links. So the question in the news gets recycled. So Martin Keown has raised the question why Kieran Tierney is not start starting the games for Arsenal. So 
Kion says, I, uh, Tavares has done extremely, extremely well. Maybe the manager doesn't believe in Tierney as much as we might believe in him. Tavares made a few mistakes at Anfield and the manager said, I'm not going to drop him. I think there's a problem brewing with Tierney. He's a real quality player. He's a leader, the type of defender Arsenal fans have wanted for years. And now he's not in the team. He's not been near to coming on in any of the games. He's got to keep his head down, keep working and not become a problem for the manager. He doesn't strike me as a sort of lad who's going to stick around if he doesn't get a game of football. So let's see what is the theory behind not starting Tierney or yeah. So Arteta about the game said to show the character and the personality and the courage to play the way we did at Old Trafford was pleasing. But the reality is conceding three goals at Old Trafford, it's very difficult to get any results. Thomas Partey says, I have to keep on doing my best, keep trying, keep improving, try to come back to my best because the team needs me. They scored two goals and then a penalty. The team tried to improve, go forward and look for a goal for the equaliser. But in the end, it's football. We have to forget about this game. We have to think of our next game. We have to do better and also to win. And Mikel Arteta on Martinelli's performance says, he created assists. He worked extremely hard. He had some really good moments. He looked a threat oh yes he does, did look uh, uh, a threat so Arteta on the game says it is what it is if you concede three goals uh, uh, yeah we, we spoke about it we've come a long way since the game at Anfield we were able to maintain high periods for longer we, when we were in control we had a better structure and created chances there were a lot of things that I liked in the game when you score two goals at Old Trafford you expect to get something from the game and that is a regret but it's not uh, that is our fault when you see the game, you would say we deserved more, but that is what happens against the quality of opponent. Aubameyang on the defeat says, We are a bit disappointed tonight because the team played very well. In this type of game, you need to be clinical defensively and offensively, and you have to do the perfect game because of the quality of Manchester United. In the second half, we had the character to come back, but in this type of game, I have to stand up and score that opportunity and maybe get a point for us. I should definitely score that type of goal, but I will not give up and I will keep trying to score goals. Media is really cruel, you know, when Aubameyang comes out and says this and they start, everyone starts talking about Dominic calvert living to Arsenal and they say that it's luck as it who Arsenal can replace. Yeah, cute. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're all going to talk about luck as eh? Cool. So we spoke about Dominic calvert Lewin, and now we're going to talk about Jonathan David. So, of course, as already mentioned, London Evening Standard has mentioned that Dominic calvert Lewin. Arsenal's second opportunity if they get if they could, do, couldn't get Dominic Calvert Lewin, their idea is to get Jonathan David, which many of you have already rejected. Like I myself don't want Jonathan David and Arsenal. But moving on, John Barnes believes Mikel Arteta has put Arsenal in the uh, has put Arsenal in a healthy place at the moment. He says again, uh, Arsenal have got good players, and if you stick together and have belief, you can see what happens. Against Arsenal, uh, against Liverpool, Arsenal's heads dropped a little when things weren't going well. But they will always have those problems. They've not shown a resilience in the last two or three years. But that will come and they'll learn that. When Arsenal play well, they're an effective side. But they've been in a transitional period for too long now. It's It should always be a case of looking to do something else. Now they've got belief in the manager and belief in the team. So they should be given time to get where they want to get to, as Chelsea did and Liverpool did. They need to believe in uh, to get as where they want to get to as Chelsea. So no, I spoke about it, so yeah. Moving on, Kevin Campbell wants Arsenal to sign Renato Sanchez. He says, I think he would be very good if they can get him in. Uh, he suffered with injuries, but he's still young. He's a powerhouse in that midfield. He can pick the ball up, run and can shoot. He can create. Having that power in the midfield can make a huge difference. No disrespect to him, but against Liverpool. For example, Sambi Lokonga was taken off by Arteta to save him. He was getting robbed time after time in that midfield true he was robbed yep. moving on let's talk about darwin nunez finally according to uruguay fichages arsenal are one of the clubs interested in benfica striker darwin nunez benfica won't accept less than 40 million euros this season He's played 16 matches, scored 11 goals and made 2 assists. So, 13 goal contributions in 16 games. Would you consider Darwin Nunez to Arsenal? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about Darwin Nunez. For me, exciting talent this season has been really good. Has scored some bangers, but quite ineffective against Arsenal, against uh, Arsenal in last season's Europa League. 
Let me know what you guys think about it. Darwin Nunez to Arsenal. Do you want Darwin Nunez or it's Dominic Calvert Lewin, Jonathan David or Dusan Vlahovic? It's a really, really humdinger of a question. Let me know what you guys think about it. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cheers. And don't forget to subscribe.